Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into the top 15 to-do list applications as we head into 2021. Now, as you can imagine, it's important to note that we've based these on individual use and obviously we've selected the best and most widely available from our recommendations over the years. Our recommendation is always to pick one and try to stick with it for as long as possible. If you want some help with choosing an application, we've got a free course that might be helpful. You'll find the link in the description. Okay, so number one is Zenkit To Do. Now this is actually part of what's called the Zenkit suite of applications, but it's pretty much a Wunderlist copy. The application is lightweight, it's easy to use and has a iOS and Android application. Zenkit to do also allows you to do a range of abilities by creating lists and you can even invite other people to those lists as well if you did want to expand out. Now it does have a free plan with a few limitations when it comes to creating lists and for example projects, however the price if you did want to upgrade is a fairly reasonable $36. Second on the list is TickTick. Tick. Now this is a pretty competitive application. It comes with a range of custom themes, advanced sortings, and on the desktop, Kanban boards too. Now it does have a great free plan and it's $28 per year. And I believe you can pay monthly as well. But if you're looking for a fantastic all round application, when you're not looking for anything specific when it comes to features, this is a great bet. Number three is Sorted. Three, this is an iOS only application. I believe there is a Mac application, but this is perfect for those who want to organize in a timeline base for their day. So for example, if you wake up at eight and want everything planned out per hour and re be able to auto schedule and reschedule, then this is an application for you. It's got great gestures and it's only $14.99 one off, which is definitely different to a lot of these applications that charge a yearly subscription. Number four is Clear. This is iOS and Mac, but it is $4.99 and it creates really easy lists to create. Now it doesn't have the advanced abilities that you'll find in applications like TickTick, Tick, Things3 or Todoist, but it definitely gives you a really attractive experience to go off of. And if your shopping lists or your lists that you create across a day aren't too advanced and they don't require a due date, then this might be the suitable basic application for you. Number five, we have Things 3. Now this is developed by a company called Cultured Code. It's iOS and Mac only. It's a little bit pricey, but actually beats the subscription if you're not wanting to go with a subscription for applications. If you want all of the apps on all of your devices, it's gonna cost you shy of $80. However, that's a one-off cost. And this is probably the most attractive to-do list application on the market. Inside of Things 3, you can do special things like section off this evening. So if you have specific plans for the evening, you can create areas and projects, and the projects go a little bit further than some of the other applications, which look great. Number six, we have TaskAid. Now, TaskAid is much more suitable for teams. However, it's a really reliable application. And what I think it might be suitable for is for those who want to express their information or tasks in different views. Inside of TaskAid, you can change stuff into mind map view, into Kanban view, and there's a few others, for example, list view, and you can use the templates there to even add on, for example, if you wanted to create your notes alongside of this in a bullet journal fashion, this could be quite a good application for you. And if you and your team did want to grow inside of this application, it has some great chat abilities with a $5 per member upgrade. Number seven, OmniFocus. Now this is definitely much more suitable for those who are GTD users. It really is an application that's well designed, but it can be complicated if you're someone that is totally new to to-do list applications. It's got a pr pretty hefty fee as well at $99 per year. It's developed by a group called Omni Group and their CEO is Ken Case. Now it is available on iOS, Mac and web, only recently on web, but it is definitely a reliable application that comes with a very specific feature set. For example, you can use the forecast to plan ahead and naturally there's bunches of tags and context abilities inside of this application. 
Okay, so number eight, this is actually probably the most new of our selection of applications here, and this is called Columns. Now, this is available only through web at the moment, but it's perfect for those who want to create checklists in a much more relaxed fashion. Its card-based experience is perfect for those who create lists on a routine basis, it doesn't have any limitations as there's no paid plan at the moment. However, I'm sure in the future they'll be looking to add that. So if you want a really gorgeous looking application that has the functionality of say clear, but is uh, I guess a lot more web-based, then this is much suitable for you. So number nine is a Microsoft suggestion. This actually replaced Wunderlist. So it's perfect for those who are uh, moving from Wunderlist, although maybe you moved already because the application has shut down. It is free for anyone with a Microsoft account. It's reliable. It comes with really fantastic lists and plenty of custom abilities. And I really like how they've designed this application. Works really solidly. I would say this is great for anyone who, for example, is not necessarily wanting to use iOS reminders, but want something between iOS reminders and Todoist. Number 10, we have AnyDo. Now, AnyDo is really attractive when it comes to, for those who want to use a calendar experience with it, it does have a little bit of a pricier subscription. However, that's dropped down to $36 as a premium, which is much better. However, it does have all advice accessibility. So you can even get it on your Amazon Alexa or your Google Home devices. But this calendar task-based application is perfect for those who rely on their calendar, but also want to add tasks. Next up, number 11 is Todoist. This is available on all devices, and if I'm honest, it's my application of choice. It's the most reliable one I've had. Been using it for shy of eight years, I believe, and it's got a great boards ability, which has recently been added. Again, it still sticks itself at a really reasonable price at $36 per year. Number 12, we have Trello. Now, we normally don't recommend this for task management. However, there are folks who definitely want to use boards as their sort of centralized way of working. And as you can imagine, Kanban is a great system for that. It's available on all devices. It works well offline on mobile nowadays. And if you want to go further, there is a business class plan, which is $9.99 per month, which is going to cost you a lot more than $100 per year. However, if you want the Butler automations to be able to connect with other applications, which I see a lot of people wanting, then this could be the application for you. Number 13 is ClickUp. Now, this is free access. It actually has unlimited tasks and projects and some small amount of storage for those who want to use it as a solo user. What's really good about this application is it's very much like TaskAid. It's more suitable for teams, but does have a solo plan that allows you to scale if you do want to have um, you know, more team members added in the future. And it's also got a range of views, which allows you to express your tasks in a different way. So for example, over the years, if you do change the way you want a task to be viewed, then this can be utilized for that. Number 14, as we close in near the end, we've got Google Tasks. And this is, again, uh, basic. It's free and works inside of actual calendar and Gmail too. So for example, if you wanted to be able to view it next to your Gmail account as you're crushing your emails, this is perfect. And if you want to drag your Gmail emails into your Google Tasks so that you, when you go to that task, it opens up the specific email in reference, this is a great application. So if you want a Google system that isn't too complex, this is a good solution. It's not going to be um, as advanced to say even iOS reminders. To, well, I'd say it's on part of iOS reminders, but at the same time, it's going to do you well if you're looking to stay in the Google ecosystem. And number 15, this is actually Mac Diavella's, uh, the YouTuber's go-to to-do list application. It's called To Do, and it's available on web, iOS, and Android. Now, they, this is a paid plan, so you do get 30 days free. However, there is a $3 a month pricing um, and as you can imagine, uh, it's something that uh, if you pay monthly, it probably works out about the same as Todoist per year. However, there is a Believer plan which is paid yearly at $2 a month. So it does work out a little bit cheaper than the other applications. But this application is specifically great if you want to organize your tasks in what is like a calendar view, but also a way to visualize everything in one view um, and be able to move stuff around. Uh, a lot of people like this, especially when they've come from Kanban experiences but are limited by the calendar abilities. 
So folks, those were 15 applications on the to-do list art market right now. Now, as you can imagine, this there's so many to-do list applications, so we want to distill the best of the breed. However, we'll talk about more specific ones in the future. If you are new here, please do hit subscribe. It'd be absolutely fantastic to have you here in the community. It's been a pleasure talking with you folks, and I hope that you picked an application from today's list, and I hope you stick with it for the future. Remember, research and investment in an application will massively help your productivity. So make sure you take time to choose one, um, and feel free to take the course as well. Anyway, folks, a big thank you, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.